Shalom. I want to give praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Hashem, Bashim, Raka, Kadash. And double honor to the elders and apostles of great millstone and company's truth. And peace, blessing, and salutation to the hopeful elect. And, um, slucky for, um, the, the change in my voice. Yeah, so lucky for the change in my voice. My, um, my wisdom tooth, it's, um, it's coming through, so, yeah, my, um, my gum and my jaw's hurting at the moment, but, yeah, man, let's get into this, um, this camp lesson, and, and um, I found this article here, and it says, China may have more than 100, 1K operational nuclear warheads by 2030, and that was said by, um, the Pentagon, and it says, um, the US Department of Defense released in 2023 report of the military and security developments involving the People's Republic of China, a document that has annually been submitted to Congress and aligned with National Defense Authorization Act. And it said the report predicts that over the next decade, China will continue to rapidly modernize, diversify, and expand its nuclear forces while underlining the importance of meeting the pacing challenge posed by China's increasingly capable military. And yeah, man, this, <laughs> these nations are preparing and the very thing they're preparing for is to go to war, mainly with America, which is known as the daughter of Babylon or the land of the Chaldeans. <clears throat> and it says, um, the Department of Defense estimates that the PRC will probably have over 1K operational nuclear warheads by 2030, much, much of which will be deployed at higher um, readiness levels and will continue growing its force to 2035, the report said. It says the growth of China's nuclear force is in line with its goal of ensuring its military modernization is basically complete by 2035. And it says which serves as an important milestone on the road to the Chinese President Xi Jinping and goal of world-class military by 2049 according to the report so <laughs> these heathen <clears throat> these heathen um think of a vain thing man they're, they're literally um getting themselves combat ready because they think they're going to be the next superpower especially um china china thinks it's going to be their next superpower as well as um russia and even India, they think they're, they're in line to basically rule the earth next. But what they don't understand is how Shah is going to come back, man, join World War III. And it's going to put an end to the rulership of the heathen. And it says in last year's report, the Pentagon said that China had about 400 nuclear warheads and that number could rise up to 1.5K by 2035 compared to the PLA's nuclear modernization efforts a decade ago. Current efforts dwarf previous attempts in both scale and complexity. The report said referring to China's People's Liberation Army. The PRC is expanding the number of its land, sea, and air-based nuclear delivery platforms. So you mean, so what it generally means is, yeah, Babylon or America is going to be literally, it's literally going to be <clears throat> surrounding man literally missiles coming from all angles missiles coming from the sea like it said from the air and from the land man and like the scriptures may mention man called the archers let me go to the book of Jeremiah Fifty and you know, let me start twenty five. It says the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashem have opened his armory, and armories where the weapons are kept, and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashem of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. And it says, Come against her from the almost border upon her storehouses cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly let nothing of her be left and 
that's that's basically why these intercontinental ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles, hypersonic glide vehicles, cruise missiles are being developed and being fitted with more nuclear warheads so it can leave the land of America desolate. Why? Because the Lord has spoken it. <clears throat> and it says, Slay all the bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter. One to them for the days come, the time of their visitation. And yeah, man, the Lord's going to visit all the heathen. And even the two thousand wicked jakes, man. The only ones who are going to be safe are his elect of the elects, man. The small remnant, as he makes mention in Isaiah 1 and 9. And it says, The, the voice of them that fear and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord Yehovah Shem HaRashah of power, the vengeance of his temple, and vengeance going into payback, man. And the Lord has to pay back America for the, for the things it's done. Especially to his temple being the ministry of the prophets and the one third men, women and children, man. And, it's, and, the, and here's the point here, man. It says, call together the archers against Babylon, being those that have nuclear capability, call them against America to, to destroy it, man. <clears throat> and it says, all oh, ye that bend the bow. It's lucky, it's lucky for the noise, man. It says, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done. Do unto her, for she have been proud against the Lord Yahweh, Shem Shai, and against the Holy One of Israel. So, yeah, man, the Lord going to cause these nations to enact his vengeance upon America. And he's going to use the weapons of his indignation to waste the land and if you go into that word waste it goes into um to to leave empty to to leave desolate to to destroy <clears throat> like it just makes mention in um isaiah 54 and 16. it says behold i've created smith being the modern day smith which a blacksmith is the one who um who creates weaponry but the smiths that he's talking about here is the german scientists the ones who were basically paved the way to nuclear missiles <clears throat> and it says um i created a smith that blows the coals in the fire and bring it forth an instrument for his work and i've created a waster to destroy and that's what these nuclear missiles are going to do it's going to waste the land of babylon it's going to leave it desolate man And now let's carry on with this little article here. And it says, um, yeah, and it says the PRC is expanding the number of its land, sea, and air based nuclear delivery platforms while investing in and constructing the infrastructure necessary to support further expansion of its nuclear forces. It added. So by the time these nations are ready, the nuclear arsenals are going to be ready and they're going to be ready to leave america as a desolate wilderness and it says as a part of efforts to enhance its strategic deterrence capabilities china is developing new intercontinental ballistic missiles which will require increased nuclear warhead production due in part to the induction of multiple impenetrable targetable re-entry vehicle capabilities according to the report and those re-entry vehicles they're basically the ones that go up to the firmament and they basically come back down and use the force and the distance and speed to create a bigger impact. And like how was Shai may mention, man. Isaiah 34 and 5. It says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven being the intercontinental ballistic missiles because literally um, the stages of an ICBM it gets launched out of the silo and then the fame or shall I say the fuel burns and then it flies all the way up to the heavens or the firmament and then it comes back down man and then once it's reached its destination or it's um or the altitude that it needs to be at it will release the warheads 
<clears throat> and carrying on. It says, For my source will be bathed in heaven. The holy shall come, come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse of judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood, is made fat with fatness, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kings of rams. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Haushai, have a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, being the dwelling places of Edom. And the Lord's going to visit each and every one of their one of their lands by way of them nuclear warheads, man. Or those interpontental ballistic missiles. <clears throat> and literally going into um the Lord's title being the Lord of hosts, being the Lord of armies. Literally the Lord have created an army by way of the nuclear missiles and is going to use the nuclear missiles to enact his vengeance upon America, man. <clears throat> And you know what? Let's continue. And it says China may also be exploring development of conventionally armed intercontin intercontinental range missile systems, with which, if deployed, would allow China to threaten conventional strikes against targets in the continental US, as well as Hawaii and Alaska, it said. So these missiles are long range, man. You know what? Let me go to the second address, man. Second address. Second address 16 and 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and hair and bewail your children and be sorry for the, your destruction is at hand. And literally, um, girding up yourselves with um, cloth of sack and hair is a sign of um, mourning. And it says, A sword is sent upon you. And who may turn it back? And yeah, the, the missiles are going to be sent upon America. It's going to be sent upon the UK. And it's going to be sent upon these other different countries. Oh, I can't forget, um, what's the place called? Um, I think it's Sweden, where they basically came out with um, the MLTB over there. And the majority of the people have taken it. Literally, whatever... The people have taken the MLTB, which is the RFID micro CHIP in the brain CHIP. The missiles, or should I say, the nuclear warheads are going to go there and find them. And they're going to hit their exact targets, man. None shall escape. As Joao may mention. And it says, A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in the stubble when it have begun to burn? And to be honest, they're not going to be able to deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Because <laughs> this ain't no ordinary fire, man. And you know, let me quickly go to um, Isaiah 47. Yeah, Isaiah 47. And let me start at 12, and it says, Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth, it shall be thou shalt able to profit, it shall be thou mayest prevail. And yeah, man, literally, Esau Eden's been doing witchcraft all this time. But to be honest, it's, it's, it's starting to fail. It's, it's literally starting to fail, man. Especially his um, deception. His deception doesn't work like it used to. And it says, Thou art weird in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Yeah, being the plagues, man, that the Lord gonna send. And the last one being the army of the, 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 the nuclear missiles, man. <clears throat> let's, see, let's see if they're gonna deliver themselves from the nuclear missiles. Let's continue. It says, Behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There should not be a cold to warm at and no fire to sit before it. Basically meaning this fire isn't like ordinary fire. So you could um like open up a fireplace and watch the, the fire kindle. You, you can control that. You'll, you'll be able to quench that fire. 
you'll be able to pull it out. But the fire that the Lord's sending upon America, it won't be able to, um, it won't be able to be put out until it's consumed everything, man. Until there's nothing left. And it says, Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast laboured, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wonder every one to his quarter, none shall save thee. And now going back to um, Second Andrew 16. Yeah, in verse 7, and it says, May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer, and that arrow that's going to be shot of the strong archer, being. <laughs> so, lucky at the pieces box me right now. But yeah, the arrows that are going to be shot off by the strong archer, being those nuclear silos, man. The missiles are going to be released from the nuclear silos. <clears throat> and it says, The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? And to be honest, <laughs> like the scripture said, man, it makes mention of um, in Isaiah 47, this talks about, um, I shall not be a widow. I shall not say as a widow, I shall not see the loss of children. Basically meaning the plagues that are going to be sent onto America, the thing is not going to affect them in any sort of way. But let's look at Revelation 18. Revelation 18 and 7 it says how much she have glorified herself being America which is known as um, the whore or the woman which was which sitteth on the scarlet color beast in Revelation 17 <clears throat> it says how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart I set a queen and I'm no widow, I shall see no sorrow. So basically, like I said, basically saying these plagues won't affect them. The plagues that the Lord, the Halber, somehow shared want to send unto them won't affect them. And it says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord, the Halber, somehow shall judge of her. So, yeah, man, these plagues are going to come upon America, man. And I won't be able to do nothing to pull it off won't be able to escape now going back to second hundred sixteen and nine it says a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who's he that may quench it and like I may mention this fire ain't no ordinary fire it's not gonna be put out until it's consumed everything and it says um and you know what we can actually go to second Peter Second Peter 3 and 6 it says whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished being the first death <clears throat> and then it says but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men being the second death which comes by way of the nuclear missiles going into that lake of fire which um the lake of fire is going to come about by way of um, the elements being mounted down by the power of the nuclear missiles or by the extreme heat. And carrying on, it says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years one day. <clears throat> and it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any shall perish, but that all shall come to repentance. But that's the thing. Out of the children of Israel, only the small remnant is going to come to repentance. And it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, being them intercontinental ballistic missiles. Because, like it makes mention, man, John said he heard a number of them 200,000, 000, going to 200 million. And if all them nuclear warheads are going to be exploding, you can just imagine how, how loud the destruction is going to be, man. And how the earth is going to shake. Because <clears throat> like it says here. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So the rocks, the trees, the, the tall buildings. They're going to be melted down man. It's going to be melted. 
and also the people because like it says the elements should be mounted with fervent heat and those that take the MLTB they're going to be mounted because they're made out of the elements and because they're made out of the elements <laughs> they're going to be fuel for the fireman as it makes mention in um, Ezekiel And this is Ezekiel 22 and 20. And it says, As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to mount it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and mount you. And also, this same thing is in um, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, where it talks about the Lord's going to leave them there to be destroyed, man. <clears throat> but let me continue. It says, Yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and you shall be mounted in the midst of a silver is mounted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be mounted in the midst of, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, Yehovah, shall I pour out my fury upon you. And now let me go to the book of Second Edges, man, chapter fifteen. <clears throat> yeah, Second Edges fifteen and twenty, and this is behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me. Which are from the rising of the sun from the south on the east and living to turn themselves once against another to repay the things that they have done to them, being the two children of Israel, man, being the Negro Latinos, the Spanish, Native Americans, also including the Mexicans and similar Indians, man, and also the Israelite farmers, man, that are being scattered abroad due to Atlantic slave trade. And it says, Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also on recompensing their bosom, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shim Shai. And it says, my right hand shall not spare the sinners being Yahushai, being his literal right hand, as he made mention. And even King David made mention and all the other prophets made mention that he said on, the, um, like he says, his Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. <clears throat> and it says, my right hand shall not spare the sinners. So when the Lord comes back to execute judgment, he's not going to spare the sinners. The only ones that are going to be spared or exempt are the let of the let man. And it says, And my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. The fire has gone forth from his wrath, and have consumed the foundations of the earth. And the sinners like the straw that is kindled going to those that take the MLTB. They're going to be left in that nuclear fire to be mounted down, man. And it says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, serve the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, you chosen from the power to find out my sanctuary. <clears throat> And it says, For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. <clears throat> and yeah, those who take the MLTB, he will be delivered unto death and destruction, man. <clears throat> and it says, For now the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them, for God shall not deliver you because you have sinned against them. So yeah, they're going to be left in the nuclear fire to be mounted down, man. <clears throat> and all those who have a fought against Jerusalem, man, being. <clears throat> Those who have taken the MLTB, man, <laughs> being those armies, man. Like, literally, when the C-19 and the, you know, the jabby jab came along, and the army had to take it, man. Otherwise, they'll lose all their benefits. <coughs> they were literally, they literally had, well, they did have an option. It was either take it or get kicked out of the army and then lose all your benefits. And you'll basically be homeless. And a lot of people in the army took it, man. And it's going to be the same thing for the, um, the MLTB. <coughs> Especially in um, America. They're going to take the MLTB, man. And this is what's going to happen to them. They're going to be burnt up, man. Second address. I'm going back to second address, chapter 16. And <clears throat> yeah, let me start at 8. And this is the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, being Yahweh Shai, man. Because if you have any understanding, you'll know that Yahweh Shai is the one who's in, um, who's in charge right now. And it's also the ones sending out these, um, these judgments, man. 
and it says the mind Lord send the plagues and who is he that can drive them away and to be honest the Lord have power over the plagues man and no one can drive them away including um <laughs> America man because they seem to think because of their riches because of the the knowledge that they have the wisdom that they have because they have power over the earth to able to escape judgment <coughs> and the won't and it says a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it and none shall be able to quench the fire <coughs> carrying on it says he shall cast the lightnings and who shall not fear he shall find them who shall not be afraid the Lord shall threaten and he shall not be utterly being to powder his presence. The earth quaketh from the foundations thereof. The sea of rises up with waves from the deep. And the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. <clears throat> his arrows that he shoot are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Meaning these missiles are long range, man. They won't come from one continent to another. Hence the abbreviation. ICBM. Being inter- Continental ballistic missile. The continental meaning they're long range and they can be fired from one continent to another. <clears throat> and it says, Behold, the plagues are sent, I shall not return again until they come up on the earth. The fire is kindled, and like I said, man, this fire isn't going to stop until it's literally consumed everything, man. So there's nothing left of America. <coughs> like it says here. So, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumed the foundation of the earth. So, yeah, and so Babylon's made a desolate wilderness, man. And it says, like as an arrow which is shot by my arch, I return not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. <clears throat> and then it says, woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? So, even here, Ez Ezra was afraid, man, because he was having his visions. And it was of complete destruction, man. The, the, basically the day of the Lord, man. <clears throat> and it says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? <clears throat> and yeah, man, when these evils come, the only ones that are going to be kept from the fear of evil is the elect of the elect, man. It's not going to come upon them, man. And you know what? Let me go to Ezekiel 7 and 5. <clears throat> it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yehawah, Shem, Hamashah, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. Going into that word evil, going into Eve being the time and ill being bad. So, bad times or tribulation, anguish, scourge, calamity. <coughs> and it says, an end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold it is come. The morning is come unto thee, all that dwelleth in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sound again of the mountains. Now will I surely <coughs> now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And my eyes shall not spare. Neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and to thy down abominations that are in the midst of thee. And you shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hawashah, that smiteth. And yeah, man, they're going to they're know it was Yahweh Bashim Hawashah that did it, man. That destroyed America. That brought down all these power structures. <clears throat> and he's going to do it by the hand of his, of his servants, man. I was going to say, by, by the hands of his sons. <clears throat> I want to say, by the hands of his sons. I mean the sons of the living God, man, being Yahweh Shai, being King David, <coughs> and the rest of the house of David, which are the 144,000, man. Yeah, let me go back to the article. I, I literally forgot about the article. <laughs> I was in the scriptures that long. I literally forgot I was still in, in the article. <clears throat> yeah, and it says, um, the report 
noted that China probably completed the construction of three new solid propellant silo fields in 2022, which consists of at least 300 new ICBM silos. And like I made mention, man, <coughs> them silos is basically the bow and the arrow is basically the ICBM. <coughs> and when them silos basically open, the arrow is going to be shot off or the intercontinental decent missile is going to be shot off, man. And it's going to fly from one end of the world to the other. And you know what? Let me get Isaiah 13 and 5. <coughs> and it says, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So like it says, man, they come from a faraway country, bringing them intercontinental ballistic missiles. <coughs> And carrying on it says it also highlighted that china has numerically the largest navy in the world <clears throat> and to be honest that's a good thing and the reason why i say that is because they're gonna have their whole navy in in this in the seas man and they're gonna send over them um them nuclear torpedoes man <coughs> and literally the mini silos that they have they're gonna fire at them nuclear warheads man <clears throat> And it says, China has a numerically the largest navy in the world, an overall battle force of over 370 ships and some marines, including over 140 major service combatants. So yeah, man, these submarines and these warships are going to be used, man. <clears throat> and, it's, and what they're going to be using for ammunition is nuclear warheads, man. <clears throat> and it says, if expressed concerns over the Chinese military um, conceive and risky air and Maritime actively, particularly in the East and South China Seas, saying it is aimed at pressuring the United States and other nations to reduce and cease lawful operations in the areas of Beijing. <coughs> and yeah, man, these nations are not going to spare America, especially Russia, man. And let me head on over to um, Jeremiah 51 and 1. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yehawba Shem Hawashai, Behold, I'll raise up against Babylon, being America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, I destroy and win. And that destroy and win being the shockwave from the intercontinental ballistic missiles when it detonates, man. Because <coughs> first, what happens is when the nuclear war has detonated, first is let out like um, a shockwave, like an EMP blast, and anything that's caught in that EMP blast. Is literally being fried <clears throat> so those who are trying to escape in their cars or a plane or in, some, in something that um, holds electricity or an electric charge it's going to shut off and then comes that nuclear fireman and you know what also also going into that destroying wind that shockwave it can also collapse buildings as well so before the fire even comes to consume everything, the force of the shockwave is, is going to collapse buildings, man. <coughs> and the fire is going to literally mount everything. And carrying on, it says, Mount send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about, being those nations that have been risen up to come up against America. And it says, Against him that bendeth, let the art to bend his bow. But I'm gonna read this. This is basically going into those who have nuclear capability setting up their, their their nuclear missiles to be actively fired, man. Entering in those coordinates, putting in um the the nuclear codes, and literally <laughs> literally um aiming the, the trajectory at America, man. Literally just bending the bow. That's that's literally what you do. When you're shooting um, at long dis this long distances, you have to um, literally ad adjust the angles so that you can shoot at a long a, or should I say a further distance. And it says um, and against him that lifted himself up his brigade and spare ye not her young men, going into <clears throat> its host, going into his army, destroy ye utterly all her hosts, so the army, and thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans. And the land of the Chaldeans being America, and the reason why it's given the name of the Chaldeans is because of the 
the witchcraft, the sorceries, and the enchantments that it does, man. <clears throat> and it says, <clears throat> thus, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are full free in the streets. <clears throat> and jumping down to verse 7, it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Hashem's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Meaning the nations have drunken or followed the mindset of America and followed its ways. <clears throat> Especially um, Moab going into um, the Chinese. Man. <clears throat> and verse 8, it says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain, if so be she may be healed. And balm is, um, and you could think of it like, um, like a sealing agent that covers the wounds to help it heal. <coughs> but like it says, Babylon is fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain, if so be shall, if so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed for sake her. Let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. <clears throat> and this is the Lord have brought forth the righteousness, forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Hashem of power. <clears throat> and this is made by the arrows being. And you know what? In the ancient times, when they would have archers, they would basically um, put oil or like this tar like substance on the tip of the arrows and they would set them on fire <clears throat> and fire them. And <clears throat> and that's likened unto the intercontinent of ballistic missiles. And it says, Made by the arrows, gather the shields for the Lord Yahweh Hashem Hashem, raise up the spirit of the king of the Medes, being the Russians. And, <clears throat> and the reason why it says the spirit of the king of the Medes is because the ancient Medes took down ancient Babylon, and America being the daughter of Babylon, <coughs> the Lord has put that same spirit on Russia to do the same thing to. <clears throat> the daughter of Babylon which is America man and it says the Lord has raised up the spirit of the king of the means for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh Hashem HaShem the vengeance of his temple <clears throat> and it says set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon make the watch strong set up the watchmen prepare the ambushes for the Lord Yahweh Hashem HaShem have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon being America <clears throat> And you know what? <clears throat> and here we go. Jeremiah 51 and 35. It says, The violence done <coughs> to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Shall the inhabitant of Zion say, being the, the Israelites. <clears throat> and it says, And my blood upon the inhabitants of Shaldi, shall Jerusalem say, and Jerusalem being another name for the child tribes of Israel or the sons of God. And it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will plead thy cause. <clears throat> Meaning the Lord's going to judge man. And it says, And take vengeance for thee, and will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. And Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons, and astonishment, and then hissing without an inhabitant. So the Lord's going to make it desolate, man. <clears throat> As it makes as it makes mention here, Jeremiah 50 and 13. It says, because of the wrath of Yahweh Shem Shai, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in the ray against Babylon. <clears throat> and against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow, so all that the all those that have a nuclear capability. Shoot at her spare no arrows. So yeah, use all them intercontinental ballistic missiles. For she have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShem. Shout against her round about. She have given her hand, her foundations have fallen, her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShem. Take vengeance upon her, as she have done, do unto her. <clears throat> and yeah, man, the Lord is going to completely destroy it, man. And let me get, um... <coughs> Yeah, Jeremiah 51 and um, 53. It says, though Babylon should mount up to the heaven, <laughs> just like um, with Esau, man. 
It's like it says, Though Babylon should mount to the heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, says the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hawashah, going into them other nations, man. And it says, A sound of a cry cometh from Babylon, and a great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans, because the Lord hath spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice when her waves do roar like great waters a noise of their voice is uttered because the spoilers is come upon her even upon Babylon <clears throat> and her mighty men are taken every one of their bowels is broken for the Lord Yehobashim HaVashai of recompenses shall surely requite <clears throat> and let's carry on yeah verse 60 says so Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should become upon Babylon even all these words that are, are written against Babylon being America and it says and Jeremiah said unto Sariah when thou comest when thou comest to Babylon and shall see and shall read all these words then shall thou say O Yehawbah Shem HaVashai thou hast spoken against this place to call it off that none shall remain in it neither man nor beast but that it shall be desolate forever and it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it into the midst of, of the Euphrates <clears throat> and it says and thou shalt say thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her and they shall be weary thus at far of the words of Jeremiah <clears throat> and you know what going into um, where it talks about and thus shall they say thus shall Babylon sink <clears throat> I should not rise again. That's also made mention in um, Revelation 18, <clears throat> where it talks about an angel took up a, a stone, which is Revelation 18 and 21. <clears throat> and it says, And my angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down, being America. And it says, And shall be found no more at all. So by the time the Lord's done with America, it's going to be a complete wilderness. A complete desert, uninhabitable. <clears throat> no son of man shall dwell in it. Only it's, it's going to be um, uh, a desert for the desert creatures. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I want to give a praise on the glory to Yahweh Shem Hashem Bashem Rakhadash and Shalom, man.